All right, you glorious mitochondria havers, let's talk about fat loss. But not the wear a waist trainer and pray to the moon kind. Today we're hitting up Mother Nature's black market, aka herbs, with actual scientific recipes for fat burning potential. No detox teas, no MLM aunties. Just eight herbs that might help you drop a few pounds without selling your soul to Ozempic. Let's kick things off with a piping hot take. Green coffee bean extract. Unroasted, unfiltered, probably unfun, but maybe a little magical. So imagine your daily cup of joe, but before it got roasted, caffeinated, and emotionally codependent. That's green coffee bean, and it contains something called chlorogenic acids, which allegedly help slow down glucose absorption and fat accumulation. Science says, in small studies, people taking green coffee extract lost a couple more pounds than the sad folks taking a placebo. Chlorogenic acids might modulate your metabolism, keeping your blood sugar steady, and make your fat cells slightly less clingy. It's the equivalent of a polite intervention for your love handles. But here's the tea. Or, well, the bean. A lot of the studies are short, underpowered, or sponsored by supplement companies with suspiciously tanned CEOs. Some studies were even retracted because the data was flimsier than your willpower at a taco truck. Still, if you're stacking it with a halfway decent diet, it might give you a nudge. Just don't expect miracles. Expect mild encouragement and maybe a placebo boost from the label alone. Berberine Nature's metformin, but it tastes like medieval punishment. Berberine is like the moody academic of fat burning hubs. Pulled from plants like Barbary, it's been quietly working in the background of Chinese medicine for literal centuries. Modern science? It's actually into it. Berberine's been shown to improve insulin sensitivity, reduce body fat, and activate AMPK, a cellular enzyme that basically tells your body, hey, we've got fat to burn, not store. It also helps your gut microbiome balance out which is like reprogramming the bouncers at the nightclub that is your intestines. Fewer sugar cravings, more stable energy, less fat buildup. Nice. But, plot twist, berberine tastes like mossy regret. Its oral bioavailability is garbage tier, meaning your body absorbs it like your ex absorbed accountability. Not well. It can also cause GI issues and mess with medications, especially blood sugar drugs. So yeah, it works, but it's not cute, not gentle, and definitely not casual. If you're gonna commit to berberine, treat it like a relationship. Read the side effects, check for drug instructions, and maybe don't double dose because TikTok said so. Cayenne pepper or capsaicin. This herb wants to set your mouth and your fat cells on fire. Coming in hot, literally, is cayenne pepper, starring its most chaotic compound, capsaicin. This is the molecule responsible for making your tongue cry, your forehead sweat, and your brain briefly question your life decisions. But capsaicin does more than make hot wings feel like a personal challenge. It may also increase thermogenesis, aka your body's internal calorie-burning furnace. It works by slightly raising your core temperature, which signals your body to burn more energy just to maintain homeostasis. And yes, that's science speak for you burn a little extra fat just existing. It also may help reduce appetite. Studies suggest that people who add capsaicin to their meals feel fuller, eat less, and maybe stop pretending a sleeve of Oreos is an acceptable dinner. But here's the downside. To get real fat-burning benefits, you'd need to take supplement-level doses of capsaicin, and those can come with heartburn, gastrointestinal fireworks, and emergency bathroom visits that feel like you swallowed a volcano. So yeah, spicy works, but if you've got a sensitive gut, maybe admire it from a distance. Like an ex, with red flags, and great abs. Cinnamon. Ceylon, not the sketchy one. 
sweet, spicy, and might stop you from storing every carb as belly fluff. Next up is cinnamon, the comfort spice that makes oatmeal taste less like punishment. But behind its cozy autumnal vibe, cinnamon, especially Ceylon cinnamon, might actually help regulate your metabolism. The active compound, cinnamaldehyde, has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity, lower blood glucose levels, and potentially influence fat storage pathways. Basically, it tells your body, hey, maybe don't hoard every calorie like we're in the apocalypse. But hold up, not all cinnamon is created equal. The cheap stuff you find in giant plastic containers, aka cassia cinnamon, contains coumarin, which, in high doses, can damage your liver. Yikes. Also, cinnamon's effect size? Modest. It's not gonna melt fat like butter on pancakes, but it might give your metabolism a gentle nudge, especially if you're pre-diabetic or insulin resistant. So go ahead, sprinkle it on your overnight oats like a micro-dosing metabolic hacker. Just don't freebase it like it's powdered ozempic. Ginger. The herb that fights fat, bloat, and your inner drama queen. Let's take a moment to appreciate ginger. Not just a sushi sidekick or tea accessory, but a metabolic multitasker with receipts. Ginger's active compounds, gingerols and shogols, have been shown to promote thermogenesis, reduce inflammation, and increase lipolysis, aka the breakdown of fat cells. Some studies even suggest that ginger helps enhance satiety and stabilize blood sugar, so you're less likely to raid the fridge like it owes you money. One double-bind trial showed overweight participants losing more fat and feeling fuller while supplementing with ginger daily. But let's be honest, the taste isn't for everyone. And in concentrated doses, ginger can irritate your stomach, cause heartburn, and occasionally make you burp like a dragon. Still, it's one of the safest, most well-studied herbs out there. It's been used for 5,000 years. If longevity was a spice, this would be it. Fenugreek. Smells like maple syrup, acts like appetite control with a side of gas. Next up is fenugreek, the herb that smells like breakfast, but behaves like a fiber-packed satiety ninja. It's been used in traditional medicine for centuries, and modern studies suggest it may reduce hunger, improve blood sugar control, and support fat metabolism. Fenugreek contains galactamamins, which are soluble fibers that expand in your stomach, slow down digestion, and tell your brain hey, maybe we don't need that third burrito. It also helps with glucose regulation, making it a smart pick for people dealing with insulin resistance or carb-heavy diets. Now for the spice of reality. It can cause bloating, gas, and, fun fact, your sweat may start smelling like pancake syrup. Charming, right? Nothing says, I'm trying to get shredded, like body odor that smells like IHOP. But if you can stomach it, literally, fenugreek can be your new secret weapon for appetite control. Minus the brunch vibes. Jemima Sylvestra. Makes sugar taste like sadness and helps torch fat. What's not to love? Say hello to Jemima Sylvestra. The herb with the least marketable name, but maybe the most savage move in the game. It literally blocks your ability to taste sweetness. That's right, chew on a Jemima leaf and suddenly your cupcake tastes like existential dread. That's because Jemima's active compounds bind to your sweet receptors, preventing sugar molecules from lighting up your brain like a dopamine disco. But beyond the party trick, this herb has actual fat loss potential. It helps reduce sugar cravings, stabilize blood sugar, and improve insulin function, all of which may reduce fat accumulation over time. Some studies show reduced calorie intake and body weight in people supplementing with it. The downside? That sugar-blocking power is not for the faint of taste buds. 
And while the research is promising, it's still mostly small-scale human studies and lots of animal trials, so we're not exactly in slam-dunk territory. Still, if sugar addiction is your toxic ex, Jamima might just ghost it for you. Turmeric or curcumin. Your anti-inflammatory MVP. Turns out it might nudge fat loss too. Last but never least, the golden child of wellness, turmeric. More specifically, its superstar compound, curcumin. We already know curcumin helps reduce inflammation, protect your brain, and turn smoothies bright orange. But did you know that it might also inhibit fat tissue growth, improve insulin sensitivity, and enhance weight loss over time? Some studies suggest that curcumin downregulates fat storing genes and promotes fat browning, which is science speak for turning your lazy fat cells into calorie burning mini mitochondria rave zones. But here's the rub turmeric is poorly absorbed unless you take it with black pepper. Thanks to preparing, and most supplements on the market are either underdosed or wildly overpriced wellness propaganda. Still, when done right, curcumin isn't just an inflammation fighter. It's a metabolic sidekick that might just help keep the fat off your frame as long as you're not pairing it with a side of deep-fried denial. So, there you have it. Eight herbs that actually have science behind their fat-burning claims. Are they miracle cures? No. But do they have potential to help alongside proper diet, exercise, and pretending you're not stress-eating tortilla chips at 2 a.m.? Absolutely. Now go forth, question everything, and maybe add a little cinnamon to your protein oats. Your mitochondria will thank you.